Welcome to What's the Score, the Blue Room's weekly match prediction show in association with Fans Bet. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, can you click the subscribe button down in the corner? We're nearly up to 700 now, I think, and we really do appreciate everyone's support. I thank everyone who gets in touch and leaves comments and interacts with us in that way. If you'd like to interact a little bit further in the show and you want to send us your match predictions, you just need a 10-15 second video of what you think the score will be in the weekend's upcoming game. Uh, give me a shout on Twitter, send me a direct message at lesrobert 77 and it will try and get that sorted out. This week's show, we're going to split it into three parts. We're going to look at the head-to-head -head between the two teams, take a quick look at the referees before we finally get into our match predictions. So, let's kick off with Everton v Man United head-to-head. -head. Now, it's well documented just how bad our record is away at teams like Man United. Uh, and it was all compounded in last week's 3-2 defeat against Arsenal. The Toffees turned up there, played as well as they have done for years. The better side on the day... Did enough to get a draw, maybe even did enough to get a win, but it just didn't happen. And we came away from the Emirates again with no points, as we always seem to. Um, but in these games at home against the likes of Arsenal and Man United, we generally do turn up and we do get some good results. So, like there, this season against Arsenal, we drew nil nil. Pretty rubbish game. Neither team wanted to win it. They just didn't want to get beat because the new managers were sat in the stand and everyone was being dead cautious. Uh, last season, we beat them 1-0. Could have been about 4 or 5. Season before that, we beat them 2-1. And if we look at our record against Man United, over the last 10, we've won 5, drawn 2 and lost 3. So that's not a bad return at all. Obviously, culminating in that wonderful 4-0 win in the springtime sun at Goodison last season. Anything near that, this season, I'm sure we would all welcome, but I think it's going to be a little bit tougher this season because the pressure's on the Toffees in this one. We've got to win this to keep up with the chasing pack for Europe. Currently, Everton sits 11th on 36 points. That's just five points behind Man United in fifth. So if we win this, we go to within two points. But if we get beat, we can pretty much say Man United are out of sight of Everton because they will then be eight points clear. And I can't see us making that back up. Uh, last five, Man United have won two, drawn one and lost two. Obviously, the two wins in that uh, in that run of form were the win against Chelsea away, the 2-0 win there, and the 3-0 win at home to Watford. Uh, they've just beaten Bruges in the Europa League, led at them at Old Trafford last night, albeit Bruges were down to 10 men. Uh, Everton's last fives obviously lost one, uh, drawn two, and won two. In that run, though, there was that Arsenal game I've just mentioned where we can say we were pretty unlucky to come away with no points there. And that ridiculous Newcastle game, which should have been chalked up as a win, but wasn't because we hit the self-destruct button. As I said, this is a bit of a must-win, this game, if we want to keep up with the chasing pack in Europe. Um, it's all on Everton, and we just don't want them to flap it at this point like they normally do. In these games, fine margins often count, and it can often come down to the referee. So, who's in charge of this one? Referee for this one is Chris Kavanagh, and if that name rings any bells, it's probably because he was the referee as Liverpool battered us 5-2 at Anfield earlier in the season in one of Marco Silva's last games in charge. An absolutely dreadful display, and we can't really have any uh, complaints with the scoreline, but the referee did miss some big calls in that game. Uh, notably, Trent Alexander-Arnold probably should have been sent off for two yellow cards. There was a couple of late challenges, a nasty stamp and a handball, a deliberate handball in there, all of which were missed. And the obvious one was when Dominic Calvert-Lewin was clean through on goal, wiped out by Van Dijk. Uh, it was a penalty and a red card all day long. The ref gave neither. So he could be one who bottles it on the big occasion. I think in this instance, we are the home side. We've got the home crowd. We need to make that count. And if there's any pressure put on him, make sure he makes those decisions in our favour. I think the most worrying thing about this game and the officials is that John Moss is the VAR referee. So uh, we'll just leave that there. Here's the predictions. So, prediction time. I caught up with Dave Downey and Adam Sutton to see what they thought the score would be at the weekend. Here's what they said. Everton take on Manchester United at Goodison Park on Sunday afternoon in a pivotal game for the Blues' hopes of getting into Europe this season. United stand five points ahead of us in fifth place in the Premier League. A win will put us just two points behind them and no doubt we'll overtake several other teams between us and them uh, with us occupying 11th place. I think it's a really difficult game this one. I think United have finally found some harmony within their ranks. They come away from a really impressive 2-0 win away at Chelsea recently. 
uh, they seem to be gathering some sort of momentum and that's going to be difficult to stop for us. I think they've got players that can hurt us. But nonetheless, I think we were unlucky against Arsenal in general. We probably should have come away from a point with that, given the chances we had. 17 attempts on goal as well. I think we'll continue that rich attacking football that we want to see so much at Goodison. I'm going for a 2-0 win for Everton. Uh, Richarlison to open the scoring. So after a very disappointing loss at the Emirates, Everton have a chance to bounce back against Manchester United this Sunday. It seemed like a game of four quarters, really. Um, the first 20 odd minutes were, were definitely dominated by the Blues going ahead and really looking like we were going to get a second one. The next 20 odd were all hitting the self destruct button as we often do in away matches. Arsenal going back on top. We grabbed one late on in the first half, but then again, the first 20 minutes of the second half, hitting that self destruct button again and going behind. The last 20 odd was, was us really pushing for an equaliser, but we just couldn't find one. Um, United have, have been picking up some decent results, actually, not to mention that the 5 0 uh, in the Europa League this week. Um, it's it's going to be a really tough game for Everton and, and we need the crowd, we need the players to, to work in cohesion to get a positive result and I think we'll win 2-0 with Calvert-Lewin to score. Thanks to Adam and Dave, they're both going independently for 2-0 wins so that bodes well for the weekend. Um, on the weekly show I said we'd win 3-1, I've since looked at Man United's form and I've had a little bit of a rethink on that and I think we'll only win 2-1 this time, I think it's going to be a very very close game. Uh, I'm going to go with Richarlison to score because we really can't look past him and Dominic Calvert-Lewin for the goals these days. So I think that's going to be my match prediction. If you want to put any bets on 2-0 to Everton, 2-1 to Everton, or whatever you think the score will be, go to fansbet, uh, fansbet.com. Check out what the odds they're given there are while you're there. Take a look at what fan initiatives they're doing. They give 50% of all their profits to fan causes up and down the country. Um, if you want to see more Blue Room content, listen out for the weekly show, which is free wherever you get your podcasts, or subscribe to our Patreon channel. Uh, look for the Blue Room Extra on Patreon. I think it's about a five a month, probably the cost of a pint of Goodison every month, and you get loads of quality audio content on there. And, of course, our YouTube stuff is free. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, tell your mates to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Up the toffees. <laughs>